That, it's, it's a good one. That's bro. a good one. It really that is a good is one. That one is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All my, right. And <sighs> Someone familiar with the neighborhood. Young Cheeks. Yeah, and true. Cheeks has been around for that. For Kenny G. I feel like Kenny G has also been around in, since in, that era. Right, right. But, you know, a, a little more closely knit to the, uh, you know, the Arlington. Definitely. Right, the factor of, of DFW. Mm -hmm. But it's good to see him come out. I don't honestly see him at too many ultimate shockwaves. No. Usually sticks to the Mav Mayhems. But, yeah. man, what a shockwave to show up for Kenny G. He is blazing through this bracket. Show up is right. He's not just here. It's not like gym class where you just get in. Yeah. Get that no, he showed up and he is showing out. He as is well. working for that grade. Mm -hmm. GPA high as hell. Winners finals off the back of some solid wins. But Cheeks has been playing incredibly solid. Both of these players, we I've been every time I talk about a set when one of them's on the screen, have kind of been pulling from what the other one was doing right. earlier. They have a very similar game plan of that defense, that whiff punish. That is oh. dry. Oh my God! What? What a was that? Get up attack. That was get up attack. What a crazy thing for Cheeks to uh, give up uh, so sorry. early. That was that was neutral get up punished with a, an attack. Oh, I thought that was get up attack punished with the. No, no, no. Neutral get up punished. My brain was scrambled by by everything. Right. But still to punish that that early as well. Yeah, yeah. Kenny you know, a lot G of with a like great start. Hold that in their back pocket and be mm -hmm. like, if you keep giving this up, then I'm gonna eventually punish <laughs> it. Yeah, it's a lot of. That, that neutral get up is hard to punish consistently, but to just toss out the forward smash for it. Right. I love that he went for the early momentum. Oh, great DI on the down air. High key. Yo, Holding Kenny, it for that get back aired. Kenny G is, is really moving. Like uh, We were talking about earlier the patience of Cheeks and how mm -hmm. he uses the whole stage to his advantage. But man, with a character like Greninja moving as quickly as he does, mm -hmm. you literally have the whole stage. You do. At your disposal. And one whiff from the other person means all the way from the other side, you're sliding in with that. Oh, great, great dodge there. Because, you know, there's really nothing that you can scoop from below. No way that kills. No way that kills. Oh, oh. my god. He had time. He had time. And even Slip if he didn't slide. have time, he was covering a roll in also. That's crazy. And Sheik's tried his hardest to get away from that situation. <sighs> Excellent. Reversal. Great, Great reversal. Pick up. Catch Kenny G getting a little bit too greedy. You got to punish him at some point mm -hmm. for sticking the hand in the cookie jar. You didn't finish your vegetables yet, sir. Mm -mm. Oh, even punishing the nair and the runaway afterwards. Call on the jump. That is something that we saw Fox capitalize on. Kenny looks, he's playing a hoppy frog. He's going to want to jump out every once in a mm -hmm. while. Mm -hmm. He's feeling froggy. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. God, that's Ooh, so dangerous. He had no options in that situation. The Nair is not what you want there, surely. <laughs> 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 that, was, that was just a little bit silly. I love a man with a little bit of heart, though. Oh! oh! Cheeks has heart. Oh, yeah. He's got soul. Peace! No way. Uh, not quite. Did not get yoinked, surely. It's still danger, though. Oh! All right, jabbing. Try to get that momentum reset. Don't want Cheeks to get started. At a high percent like this, you know, and this is how he kind of beat Fox wow. earlier. A high percent like this, once you get that stock, mm -hmm. if you fail to clutch out that very last stock, you can find yourself losing the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if Kenny G finds himself just holding in a little bit too much. Oh. He's already taken 45 for one conversion. Now he has to get back from the corner, but that should not kill. There's no way. That was a straight up lie. <laughs> that was a lie. That Hey, if Cheeks wanted the game to end, he could have held in there. <laughs> yeah. He had 20 opportunities. He could have held hit. out in that joint window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a down air. Oh, the up air so <gasps> close. The back air not uh, connecting fully. Yeah, because he landed on the platform. I feel like that should have just killed. Oh, this is so terrifying. He read the jump, but Grenadier's jump is so high, it's hard to cover that. Cheeks, yep, waiting for Kenny G to commit See if in the middle of the read. stage. Didn't yeah, watch that back classic. air. Watch that back air. Oh, that wait. Kills? Up throw, maybe. Yes, sir. That was good DI, too. Yeah. Very far behind Greninja. You have to DI behind him. Yeah. He went straight behind, but still, that, that up throw is strong. Excellent patience from Kenny G, too, because, mm -hmm. you know, Cheeks was getting a lot of the momentum from watching Kenny G commit mm -hmm. first. And then what's funny is that that last commitment was on Cheeks. He mm -hmm. hit the dash attack on Shield got tossed for it mm -hmm. so it's, it's funny you said that earlier um that they both have like the same similar defensive 
uh, mm -hmm. with punish play style, right, where they use the whole stage, they mm -hmm. try to move around and make you swing first. Um, and normally, you know, you'd see Cheeks be the person to um, exemplify that play a little bit solid or more solid, you know, a yeah. little bit stronger than most. Um, but Kenny G has always been this type of player, so it's like looking yourself in the mirror, mm -hmm. like who wins? And I think not only like similar play styles being a factor, or like which one you know is more solid at that particular play style, but I think Greninja in particular here is a little bit more solid at doing that to Palutena because you have just a little bit more burst range ah. and more impactful burst range. Like uh -huh. if you hit a dash attack with uh, with Palu, you're not getting a lot off of it against Greninja, but if right. Greninja gets stat check, you get a full combo. Right. I think that definitely plays here for Kenny G in his favor. Cheeks is going to have to play at a little bit closer ranges and force awkward interactions from Kenny G. Either that or just try to find Kenny G's play mm -hmm. style and say, I'll play it better than you. But exactly. That's going to become a war of attrition. I mean, either way, you're going to work with unfamiliar territory. Yeah. One benefit you do have is you can be a little bit more reckless with stuff like your burst options against Greninja because his out of shield is so incredibly bad. Right. Um, you can kind of get away with some dash attacks on shield and you'll be all right. Mm -hmm. As long as it doesn't become a huge habit for Kenny G to pick up on, Cheeks can definitely even up the game. Bam! That is a habit that Cheeks picked he, up Yep, on. he caught him jumping a lot. Mm -hmm. Or at least recognized that he was jumping a lot, and that was a big catch. Mm -hmm. And now put him in the spin cycle. Wash my clothes, please. Yeah, there was a couple of misses where he read the jump, but was like, I can't get there high enough. What right. can I do here? Oh, well, up smash is pretty tall, so mm -hmm. we're going to go there. And long lasting, the active mm -hmm. frames on that go dummy. And now we're seeing a big difference in how the first game played out. Cheeks has definitely found the momentum and is punishing Kenny G for being the person whiffing this time. Mm -hmm. Cheeks doing a great job of continuing these ledge traps despite all of them. Did that win box him off the stage? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, Kenny G's been mixing up his getup really well, actually, cycling between neutral getup into shield, neutral getup into roll, mm -hmm. throwing out the raw roll or the jump. He's cycled through them all pretty consistently, and it's hard for Cheeks to find a read on when the next one's coming. Right. You have maybe a vague idea that one isn't. Kenny G's definitely not going to challenge that space right there. Doesn't want to get back thrown by Cheeks. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ooh, and now reading Cheeks' jump is going to get some good damage for it. Trying to call a jump out of the corner as well, but Cheeks staying a little oh. more grounded. Oh, oh I yeah. love the idea there. That was a tough spot, too. Yeah, as Kenny, you can't really throw out a hitbox there at all to cover yourself, or you are just going to blast him. Yeah. Ooh. Cheeks trying to force his way in with the double dash attack. Great pressure right there. The fake jump into the nair. These downers are crucial. I feel like if you don't have that in your repertoire here as Palu, it is a lot harder to find meaningful punishes on where Kenny G is, like whiffing these dash attacks. Right. That is a big miss for Kenny. Now sets up a ledge trap. Oh, he parried and he still couldn't get there fast enough? That's strange. I'm shook. The I didn't sliding think animation, I yeah. think, yeah. I think Cheeks probably had the frames to do it, but he just dashed out too early. Right. Oh, the Explosive Flame's going to oh, take oh, it. Oh, yeah. Excellent placements. We hadn't seen a lot of Explosive Flame from Cheeks all game. Rightfully so. Greninja is super fast. Yeah. All it takes is one jump over, and that's a big punish. Exactly. Um, but definitely in a situation like that, high percent mm -hmm. in the position for Explosive Flame to be at least an option. Threw it out. Kenny G was not ready for it, mm -hmm. you know? I don't think you can jump out there. Maybe you can air dodge, but then you're just going below the ledge and you give Chiefs an opportunity to ledge trap. Yeah. You just know? throwing it out in that position is great because even if they spot dodge, I'm mm -hmm. spot dodge, air dodge, dodge through it, mm -hmm. um, you know, you're really forcing them to be in a just as bad position. We saw Cheeks punish the low recovery or the forced low recovery earlier. Exactly. Um, so that was more, that was like a, a checkmate situation. Mm -hmm. And then even better since he hasn't been using the explosive flames, it's yeah. really niche usage. It's not something you're thinking about. Clutched him out. Yeah, exactly right. You're thinking maybe he's going to go for like a raw back here and I can react to him moving or the close up air to me. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now no time to react there. Now going to small battlefield as the pick. I feel like lower to the ground platforms are a little bit better for him. Uh, I feel like the closeness of it will help Cheeks a little oh. bit more. Oh, he's alive. Twice? Oh, okay. Never mind. Didn't have the guts. Yeah. I'm actually not sure if he could have made it back if he went for Maybe two. not. Maybe not. Yeah. And, of course, you know, Cheeks is the kind of player who, after he gets a reward, he's not going to overextend every mm. time. And I love that, actually. Yeah. Oh, Catches spent the jump. jump. Is he going to go high? Nope. So you go, ah, uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, what coverage. Can I wonder if that panic. was the 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 role for him trying to tech. Maybe. Right. 
may be. Holt Buffer in Ultimate is not the nicest person. Very cruel mistress, actually. And a lot of people do just naturally when they hit that near-death experience, clutch that roll button. Right. Reflexively hit the shield button, mm -hmm. but at the ledge only gives roll. And Cheeks was there to punish just like he's there to punish for that up air. The second one narrowly missing. Kenny G is hurting right now. Mm -hmm. Managed to find a stray trade that gets him back on the stage but not really taking much advantage of it. It is Cheeks back in the driver's seat. Go for the double. You can catch him bouncing off the stage. That was a really ambiguous forward air. Wasn't sure really if he would cross up or fade back through. Oh! That is a way to punish, though. My goodness. And it feels like Kenny G getting these stocks has to do a lot more work getting reads mm. on Cheeks. Mm -hmm. You know, like, read a landing and forward smash. That's some work. Right. Ah, uh, it's kind of funny, you know, the dichotomy, because earlier that was, you know, him versus Fox. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, Fox had to do the reads, and now a little bit of a uh, taste of your own medicine happening. Mm -hmm. Not quite able to punish. Ugh. And overextending, that's Cheek's going to catch you with a back air. Dash attack from Kenny G. He tried his hardest, but now working on his last stock for this game three. And Cheek's is not going to give up anything free. Look at how far he's standing away from Kenny G, yeah. just making sure that he's not punished for any small movement, but Meanwhile. still giving him enough room to punish Kenny's movement. Yeah, Kenny taking about 70% for one miss input, getting a shadow sneak when he probably just wanted to turn around and throw a shuriken. So that's supposed to be my safe option. <laughs> I almost died for this. <laughs> Ooh, Nair falling down is going to set up. It's really going to cover your landing because you have that little extra destroy. And even if you trade with the up air, I feel like that's still favorable for you. Normally not the best landing tool, neutral air, but working out really well against Greninja here. Back throw for stage control. Like we said, Cheeks is definitely going to pick either the safest or pseudo safest options he can. Oh, the down air. Yeah, That's crazy because it was ambiguous on the shield. Kenny didn't know where to be for the punish. Yeah, and Chief scouted that roll as well with the down air, just a little bit off on the timing. He really is, he really is catching on to Kenny habits on both how to get off the ledge and how to get back to it even. Yeah, 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 with yeah. Explosive flame. And we were talking about Cheeks, you know, picking majority of his gameplay being the safe options or mm -hmm. giving, you know, a, a, a wide berth of room so that he can make informed decisions. Um, and, and it's working out for him as the set continues to go on because mm -hmm. now he's finding out where he can lock down a certain option mm -hmm. with um, a, a more confident you yeah. know, interaction or when he doesn't actually have to do anything. And it's making Kenny G lose the game for himself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Kenny definitely has these, these moments where he's doing great, making mm -hmm. reads, making Cheeks do some of the work, but it, it really feels like he's making Kenny think that Kenny has to do the work. Yes, he's making Kenny feel like he has to be the one to Kenny's dash fighting attack himself, early. right. Uh -huh. He's not whiff punishing as much. He's saying, I'm going in with this dash attack. Right. And that is where the struggles may lie. Now, Cheeks is such a psychologically tormenting player to go up against, man. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he caught the double jump there. That's one thing. You feel like you're playing safe using that jump to space yourself. But as soon as that double jump's gone, that is the moment Cheeks realized I can start to press a button. You know, he's letting you waste your own resources. Mm -hmm. Stuck in the corner, though, this is pretty good for Kenny. Dash attacks, not reacting. Oh, Kenny was working with great percent lead, but maybe going in with a little too much of a risky plan. Mm -hmm. I love the downer as the pressure there from Cheeks a little bit ago. You threaten uh, the roll in or the ability to cover tech in, in place. Mm -hmm. And if they roll out to the ledge, you just have position on the stage. He's yeah. done a lot of choices like that where it's very low risk and pretty solid position pretty solid rewards right it kind of just gives it to him god this is tough because mm. i mean even when kenny had the the lead in the beginning he had such great momentum yeah and now like now he's forced into or at least what he thinks forced into having to make up the deficit yeah and that's cheeks's game plan that explosive flame was so crucial. Getting up on the stage, being able to use this platform to his advantage, that's not what Kenny likes to see. He wanted this to be his stage. Right. Oh! oh. He knew that he wasn't going to be able to combo to the up smash, wanted the air dodge, and he got it. But Cheeks was able to drift in through the other side. That's a big back air. That's everything. And he's so quick with that, too. Finger on the trigger. 
Yes. This looks yeah. quite ugly. Kenny I love that finally drop zone. got a point on the board. Mm -hmm. Good recognition. Cheeks was trying to kind of waste your invincibility by using the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the jab there. There's not really a lot that you can reliably connect. Oh, 50% for his troubles. Uh -huh. Get, be gone. Oh my he goodness. Can you imagine losing the game to Winbox down air? I'd be so mad. I would be so mad. <laughs> Ooh, tried to get that triple on the back air, but doesn't connect. Are we going to down tilt? Great position by Kenny to not get scooped. Got I love the retreat there a little bit. Try to give Cheeks an opportunity where he wants to dash in. Right, right. A lot more of that would honestly be great for Kenny G. If he had more stocks to play with, he could, you know, kind of test that out a little bit more. But just this one stock might be good enough for him to get back. Bring this to game five. Okay, cool. I'm not crazy. Cheeks no, yes. should have two, right? Yeah, it's definitely game. Yeah, it's game. definitely two. Two Cheeks favor. That's okay. I'm counting. Well, I mean, now it's, Cheeks it's definitely it. Cheeks uh, favor now. Just go ahead and just go <laughs> make it for three. He, got, he finally got the point. <laughs> good, on, good on Cheeks. Staying incredibly solid. Mm -hmm. Not faltering after game one, going mm -hmm. Kenny's way. Mm -hmm. And Kenny's still really... Uh, Really playing with heart all the way through. Didn't feel like he had any defeatist right. you know, mentalities creeping up. I feel like that's really easy to happen, especially against Cheeks, especially mm. against somebody who's so good at doing what you do also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, the only thing I would say is, you know, for, for players who exemplify, like, so much of like, the defensive traits in their gameplay, mm -hmm. um, you know, they they are not uh, they're not gods. You yeah, know, like definitely it, not. It's it, you, you can find you know yourself against that that game plan, the one that you use so much, and and not know what to do, which is kind of what I think Kenny kind mm -hmm. of folded to. You know, I would, mm -hmm. usually you know it'd be Kenny playing the back, you know, the back foot, the whiff punish, the 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 gas and break type of gameplay. Um, but Cheeks forced him to be on the gas all the time, mm -hmm. and that's literally Cheeks' game plan. Um, so I mean, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I think in an alternate universe, Kenny could have definitely got that to game five or even mm -hmm. taken that set, you know, but Cheeks is so psychologically freaky to play when you're mm -hmm. actually sitting down next to him. It's like everything's always safe. He's rarely making wrong decisions. He's going to be patient if he has to, but he also turns up on offense and on punish. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's terrifying. You never know when you're yes. actually supposed to swing against him. It's so hard to play against that type of player as that type of player because yeah. you develop this play style for a certain amount of consistency it's the type of play style that works really well at beating lower level players right. this is something that i feel like um we we talk about every once in a while but like it is a different skill set to play different levels of players yeah so like to be able to make sure i'm consistently sweeping through pools is a different play style than me having to break constantly into... apply like mix and right. adjust and right. against somebody else who is more similar to your level or even higher level, you have to start applying different uh, game plans mm -hmm. and different play styles, sometimes not entirely, right? But a little shifts in your play style. But like a more defensive game plan is definitely one that comes up a lot as you're trying to get more consistent to beat out that lower level because if you consistently say, I'm going to stay over here, you're going to press a button eventually, a lot of players will right. just swing at you and then you have an opportunity to go in. But if you never learn, and obviously Kenny has figured this out it's not like he doesn't know this um but if you never learn to apply any pressure or if you never learn how to deal with somebody who's not holding in on you that can be a huge like gap mm -hmm. in your knowledge and your skill as a player mm -hmm. um obviously he got that game one they had a couple of down to the wire interactions but i feel like cheeks is just a little bit more developed on that front where he as you saw, as the game went on, was able to develop his punish, develop his uh, reads to how Kenny was defensively playing. Mm -hmm. And Kenny didn't have as much of that. He still ended up getting some solid punishes but uh, and had some good reads, like especially on the ledge. He was able to apply that. But I feel like that's a more simplified game state right. than positions where Cheeks was getting the reads mm -hmm. in advantage, where he was setting up tech chases and such, mm -hmm. such like that. So really solid stuff to Cheeks for just pushing that extra level Yep. On that front. Yep, yep. Building his offense with his defense. Always pushing the metagame, that mm -hmm. boy is. 